So tomorrow is the day. I will be cutting my hair and donating it. This hair took me about two years to grow out. And it's going to be really, really weird. Hey guys, so today's the day. I'm weirded out. Her hairstylist to get that started later today. It's gonna be fun. She's gonna be helping me out record. Okay, we picked her up and we're ready to get the haircut. Hi. Cut the locks. <laughs> I haven't seen your head this short. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just did it and I feel so weird. Let me just show you the hair. Two years since I had it. And even like two years ago, I didn't have hair this short. This is how the whole my hair is. This is about nine and a half inches, almost ten. Okay, that's one. Two. Crazy. I'm so glad I did this and I'm so happy I have all the support I did with my parents. I mainly started doing this for all of the people who have lost their lives, who I love dearly, and who have fought in the fight. person I did this for is um, my dad, who is a two-time survivor. He got cancer when he was about a teenager, like 18, 19, um, twice, around that, around that same age. Um, and him and my mom were lucky enough to have me and my brother. mentor and high school art teacher. Um, who passed away my senior year in high school. I've known her since I was in kindergarten. She's the best woman ever, ever, who had to deal with this. She had stomach cancer. this fight really well and really positively. One of the best women I know. Um, my best friend Keith, his mom, uh, it's Janet. She, uh, she had chemo done and everything and she lost her hair and she did it in the most positive way I've ever seen. She wore the awesomest, most fashionable hats and Wigs, I think. I don't, I don't really remember if she wore wigs. I remember all these styling pants she wore. And she was such a trooper. This her, her whole experience, and now she's a survivor. Um, also, um, another high school pastime um, assistant principal who passed away from cancer. She had, uh, I think, throat cancer. 
I'm not quite sure, but she was a huge impact on me. She helped me, especially the sophomore year when my grandmother died, she was there for me. Um, and she was there for me most, actually all, of my high school career. Um, and also dedicated for my Aunt May, who, um, most recently had a, a, had a tumor in her breast that was taking it, taken out. Thank God she caught it a little bit earlier than anybody else would. Um, and she got to go through a little bit of chemo for that. So doing that for her. Mostly, I'm doing this for everyone who had to fight this and everyone who lost their life because it's it's excruciating pain for them, for family, for friends. It's just like it's rock bottom to me to find out that you have cancer. liked this video please give me a thumbs up comment below give me some feedback comments give me some positivity I